So today is Tracy's birthday and you guys know how much she loves food. So we are doing a day, everything about food. So we're doing a food tour and then ending up at the best restaurant in Cape Town. So we're gonna start off the day with Cape Town Culinary Tours and we're gonna do a food tour around Cape Town. About four hours, we are gonna start with coffee. So let's go. <laughs> Super excited about coffee. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start off at Origin Roastery Coffee um, for the beginning of our culinary food tour, basically. So we're doing it with Cape Town Culinary Tours, and what a better way to start your day than with coffee. It's not, it's not as bitter as most coffees, it's, it's very light. I mean, I don't like it, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's, it's less worse than a lot of other coffee that, I, that I've drinking before. They're really trying to make me like coffee. They just made me another coffee with another method. And this is as light as it gets. Yeah, this is like tea, basically. Yeah. Again, I don't like it. But this is this is the best cup of coffee I ever had. So that means a lot. <laughs> We are with Justin, our tour guide, aka food expert, aka coffee connoisseur, and aka history buff. History buff. Yeah. yeah. Do I forget anything? More compliments, please. <laughs> Keep them coming. So, with that being said, let's eat. And what you have in front of you here is the babuti, okay? So it is curried mince, okay? okay? But it is made with these very aromatic curries. It's not your traditional super spicy Indian mm -hmm. curry. This is very warm, refreshing. So, I mean, just give this whole box a smell. There you go. Ooh, you get yeah. your cinnamon. Very tart. Oh yeah. yeah. Dries your mouth out, but then your mouth will really overcompensate and start watering. Yeah. So what that is, is um, it's actually used by indigenous hunter gatherers even today when they're making long journeys, long treks across the desert where this grows. Yeah. And um, uh, to stop their lips getting chapped, they will chew this and then it makes their mouth water and they can lick their lips. So the cool thing with this food tour is it's so much more than food. So Justin is our guide and he is amazing. He knows so much history. So as we're walking down the streets and doing our stops at the food places, we get glimpses into the history as well. The colored houses behind us, there is a kind of like a huge long history part to it. But basically, the gist at the end is basically where houses didn't have numbers at some point. Um, they'd be like, go to this street and the house on the green, like the greenhouse, that one's mine. Um, again, this is like very, very smidgen of it. But yeah, they're super beautiful. Believe it or not, this big tree here over the patio is actually a peppercorn tree. How cool is that? So that was Charles Cafe where we had some delicious bubu tea. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, probably not. But it was the first time I had that and not the last time because we had a, we were given a little spice kit to make it at home. It was really good. And we also had some uh, sparkling wine from Stallenbush where we were actually going next. This is a very popular South African snack. It's like it's like beef jerky, but like you can tell, like it's moist, like it's not as dry. It's really good. Mm. So 
we are now at Vasco, a sports bar. And why a sports bar, you ask? Because sports in the South African culture is really, really deep. So now we're gonna eat a, a lot of food and drink a few beers. So here in South Africa, they're not all about Heinz ketchup like in North America. This is all gold and it's not the most popular one in South Africa, it's the only one. <laughs> In terms of consistency and color, it's similar. We'll see about taste. It's very similar. Mm. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's good ketchup. So what they're doing right now is actually melting garlic butter down over the beef and onto the chips. And it smells so good. That pub was very fun, very delicious, different too, and now dessert. This place is called Misfits, and they have like a virtual driving range, like golf. How cool is that? So unique. If you come here, you can actually make your own gin. How cool is that? And this is why we're here today, not to make our own gin, but for a pairing of ice cream and gin. Tracy, how full are you? I'm quite full right now. Not lie. Always, uh, always a little uh, room for a dessert, especially ice cream. And some gin and ice cream. <laughs> That's really interesting. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. And I'm gonna uh, crack this boy open, and we can even taste it. There you go. See, it oh, looks wow. like a fig inside. Oh, wow. Yeah. It does. Oh, thank you, sir. And um, who wants to try some? Sure. Like I said before, it's known as sour fig or even salt fig. Oh yeah, it is salty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like smoother. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Super smooth. Wow. And yeah. Oh yeah. I remember that. It's much so smoother. Different. And that's gonna be your worst sip. Every sip gets smoother from there. <laughs> let me let me see. Yeah, let's see, see, see if I'm talking cool. <laughs> you really swish it around. It is yeah. nicer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Normally when you drink like hard alcohol, I'm like. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But not that. That's the actually very nice. Helps a lot. Amber and it smells fantastic. Oh, definitely the best one on it. Very, very good. So smooth and like just sweeter. Oh, that's good. Justin, thank you so much for this uh, tour. Guys, it was, thank you so it was much. very interesting. Yeah, was lots of good food, lots of history. I didn't know I was gonna learn this much. And now I finally proper properly learn how to uh, smell, gin. smell gin and like <laughs> hard alcohol. Uh, you're very welcome. <laughs> I had a great time too, guys. Thank you so Fantastic. much. Thank thank you. You. Cheers. Cheers. So Cape Town culinary tours. Highly, highly recommend. Agreed. So nice. Justin was amazing. Yeah. So knowledgeable, both about food, wine, and history. And that's what I like about this because it had the personal touch as in the history and I learned so much about Cape Town and South Africa that yeah. I did not know at all. Yeah. So definitely recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put all their information down below if you're ever here and you're a foodie like yeah. us. It is a must. Absolutely. Even if you don't like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to head back to the hotel. Take a couple hours to just chill, digest because tonight, since it's my birthday, we're going to the number one restaurant here in I think South Africa to be honest. It's the number one when you Google it. So, let's see what we have. All changed up, ready for a fancy birthday dinner. <laughs> you guys, I made a terrible mistake, so I, we wanted to go to La Colombe, which is a world-class restaurant, probably the best one in Cape Town. But this restaurant is operated by 
uh, the same company as different other restaurants. And when I went online to book, I clicked on waterfront, waterside or something like that because I thought this is where the restaurant was, but that was actually a different restaurant. So now we are going to waterside, which is another restaurant. Looks phenomenal as well. It's you know, the same people as La Colombe, so it has to be good. It's still and highly rated. Highly rated. I mean, it's rated 4.9 out of 5, which I don't think I've ever seen before. So still excited, but I made a mistake. So this place looks super nice, and the menu looks to die for. Happy birthday. I'd love to tell you guys what we have in front of us, but she just spent about three minutes explaining in detail everything, what everything is. The only thing I remember is that the last two bites there, the chef wants us to eat them at the end, that's it. <laughs> Sometimes I just find it impressive how much flavor they can put in something that's this big. I know. So good. Yeah, that was very, very good. All the food comes with so much explanation. I mean, look at this bite. Look how perfect this is. It's just so Instagrammable. Mm. So this is a palate cleanser. Something with passion fruit, lychee, sorbet, something. It's like a popcorn. It's just dessert between meals, I guess. Last but not least, a little piece of chocolate. You got both salted caramel. Mm. <laughs> That's some delicious chocolate right there. That was a really, really good meal. But before mm. we talk about it, let's go see yesterday what Tracy got for her birthday from me. <laughs> So as you guys know, tomorrow is Tracy's birthday and for a while she's been wanting one of those uh, no point and shoot and then instant print camera. So she has no idea that I just got that for her. She's in Zara right now. So let's go surprise her. I have no clue where she is. She was in another store. Happy birthday. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Where did you get it? At the camera store. You saw it there that fast? Yeah, when we walked in front, I looked, I saw it. Oh, it's <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> I'm so, so excited. So I've had this idea for a couple weeks now that we just got a sign, it's like fluorescent, it says like the Manny's, and I want to put Polaroids all around it, basically like, well, for this trip, pretty much one a day of like our big event or something. So we have more memories, and we're gonna fill up a wall full of Polaroids. How cool is that? Oh, it's exciting. So that was a great day. Mm -hmm. Started up strong with the, the, the food tour, and it was like super interesting to both eat food, but also to like learn more about like Cape mm -hmm. Town and South Africa and the culture and everything. I always knew that, you know, uh, South Africa has some sort of like a dark past with all the segregation and everything. Uh, but it's very interesting to see how far um, they, they've they come since yeah. like the 50 years ago and how inc like more inclusive they are and everything and equal yeah. wise for everyone. So like that, that was very interesting. And the restaurant we went tonight, that was so good. So good. Um, we may have made a working mistake in having a food <laughs> tour and then doing a fancy restaurant after. I've never been this full in my life. No, me either. I just want to sleep. We're going to sleep. I like don't even babies. know if I can sleep. I'm so full. <laughs> anyway, so that is it for today. That was Tracy's birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow, but for you guys, going to be in a couple of days. To and we're going on a road trip. So see we you. Are.
in the next one. <laughs>